Oh. All right. Since it's my fault that Iskar Joe got knocked out, it is now my responsibility to take over the investigation. I, I don't know if that actually follows. Oh, it does follow, Brian, because I'm the one with the giant magnifying glass. Is my eye big? Yeah. Good. Good. That means progress. All right, let's 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 figure out what we know here. The gun was clearly meant to kill James Woods, but Stephanie got in the way, so the murderer had to improvise and finish the job by stabbing him. Now, who here had a motive for wanting James Woods dead? Well, according to James Woods, we all did. He brought us here to make amends with us. But he wronged one of us enough to want revenge. The question is, who? Well, I know one person who could have. My partner, Tom. All right, it's true. James Woods ruined my career. I originally wanted to be an actor, and I booked the lead role in Nightmare on Elm Street. But James Woods said, no, don't bother. Something else will come along. So I turned it down. I, it's true. James Woods ruined my career. I originally wanted to be an actor, and I booked the lead role in Nightmare on Elm Street. But James Woods said, no, don't bother. Something else will come along. So I turned it down. And now this Robert Englund is the talk of the town. That should be me everyone's talking about. Was I angry? Yes, of course. But I didn't kill him. What about Seamus? You hated James Woods. You told me so. I, he's the one who made me what I am today. I wish you were a real live order, you see, Captain. But he didn't wish hard enough. It only worked on me head. Oh, my God. Seriously? No, actually, I was a normal guy until one night we dropped acid together and he thought I was a snake. Grilled me, ate me arms and legs. It was a whole thing. But I'm not the killer. What about the mayor? He could have killed him and got himself off scot-free. He took the Twitter name Mayor West, so now I have to use Mayor underscore West, that rat face cracker. But you hated him too, Dr. Hartman? Sure I hated him, but so did Mort. I didn't kill him. Maybe it was Diane. <sighs> James Woods promised to introduce me to Dan Rather, but instead he introduced me to Danny Bonaducci. Tell you that guy looks like a dog turning 30. Uh, but what about the old guy? I heard him complaining about Woods in the dining room. That's true. He replaced my Cialis with methamphetamines. Pedal faster! I can't go any faster! Where you going, kids? Hey, I just want to talk to you. Why don't you come over to my place for a glass of wine and a couple of fruit pies, and then we can go in the back room and play crazy snakes. And what about Quagmire? Fine, so he stole Cheryl Teague's from me. He ruined your TV pilot. Go to hell, I backed out of that project willingly. Oh, yeah, that's what every hack says. You know, Brian, tell you're, 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 Stand back. This could be dangerous. Now, laundry room. Laundry room, everybody. Oh, see, here we go. Woods made a list of all his misdeeds so he could make amends. Bonnie, he punched you in the throat and that's why you sound like that? No, he punched me in the throat because I sound like this. And Consuela, he... Actually, I can't read his handwriting here. What, what, what happened? What? And Consuela, he... Actually, I can't read his handwriting here. What, what, what happened? One day I bring my nephew to work and he molests my nephew and my nephew, he only 14, and he cry and then he shoot himself in the face. All these. God, there are tons of Oxycontin bottles in here. All prescribed to James Woods. And all from Goldman's pharmacy. What's that all about, Goldman? I don't know what you're talking about. James Woods never bought anything in my pharmacy, ever. Yes, he did. Says here he talked Muriel into selling him Oxycontin for him and his 19 year old girlfriend. This went on for weeks, but then she started to have misgivings and threatened to cut him off. But he wouldn't let him threatened to blackmail her by turning her into the fence. Sounds like a pretty good motive to me. Now, 
Sounds like a pretty good motive to me. No! No, it's not true. I would never kill anybody. Never. And I am not saying another word until I talk to my lawyer, because why is he wearing shorts? Oh, my God, I told you! Ariel, just surrender quietly. It'll be easier for us all if you... <laughs> There's a murder around the loose. None of us are safe. All right, let's split up and search the house. I'll go with Lois. Chris, you check the basement with Herbert. Meg, you go with Brian and Stewie. Uh, no, she, she can't. Yeah, uh, she can't. We, we, we were going to use this time uh, to figure out what to get you for your birthday. Oh, ah, okay. Well, yeah, no, you guys go. You got, yo, ooh, now I'm excited. Um, okay, uh, Meg, you go with Carl. Sorry, Carl. Tom and Diane, you're a team. Quagmire and Bonnie, you're a team. Um... Seamus and Dr. Hartman? That, that could be funny. Don't usually see the two of you together. Uh, Derek and Jillian, you guys take the attic. Joe and Priscilla are still passed out, so they'll be the unconscious team. And that leaves one three-person team of Mort, Consuela, and Mayor West. All right? Let's do this. So, uh, you guys like to party? No! Oh. Oh, my God, what a couple of squares. Squaresville, I tell you. What are we supposed to be doing again? We're looking for Muriel Goldman, honey. Anybody up here? Hey, maybe it was that cat who was the murderer. Let me ask him. Meow, meow, meow? Meow, 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 meow? We don't all talk like that. I happen to be a professor. Our apologies, sir. I should imagine so. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have papers to correct. Knock it off! Now, wait a minute. Doesn't feel like there's any wall here. What do you think's in there? I don't know. Looks scary. What do you think, Holly? I miss Holly. first. You think's in there? I don't know. Looks scary. What do you think, Holly? I miss Holly. <sighs> Better take a look. No. I'll go first. Do you see anything? No, it's, it's too dark. <sighs> Tom? Tom! Oh, sweet, a pool table. Let's see if we can find some cues. What is it? It's okay. It's just the stuffed bear from the great outdoors. Did you see the great outdoors? No. You suck. Hey, I found the pool cues. I'm all alone. Well, hey, that's all right. I watch a lot of movies. I can just use my imagination. Hi, Carl. Hey, Bear. So, um, in the bear world, are, like, pandas your version of interracial children? Yeah, pandas aren't something I agree with. They're cute, though, right? Just when they're babies. 